Hello, everybody. In this lesson, we will learn the control circuit for one-way continuous operation of three-phase asynchronous motors. Today, Xiao Lu received a new maintenance task in CREG. Let's take a look. Hello. Yeah, okay, okay. Be there at once. Shaoli, we have an equipment malfunction on the line. Let's go and have a look. Yes, Master Wang. Shaoli, take a look at the malfunction of this machine tool. Yes, Master Wang. This is a band sawing machine. Main sawing column steel structural steel. Low alloy steel high alloy steel and other metal materials. Function of this button. Let me tell you about the button function on this saw. This is an emergency stop. This start button. This is the clamp release. This is going up and this is going down. Now we have a point failure. Can you analyze why? A fuse refers to an electrical appliance that fuses the melt to break off the circuit with its own heat when the current exceeds the specified value. The function of the fuse is to protect the line from short circuit, which is an electrical fault caused by damage to the insulation of the electrical equipment or wires. When in use, the fuse should be connected in series in the protected circuit under normal circumstances, the melt of a fuse is equivalent to a section of wire. When a short circuit fault occurs in a circuit, the melt can quickly fuse and break the circuit, thereby protecting the circuit and electrical equipment. The shapes of common fuses include cylindrical cap tube type, ceramic plug type, spiral type, etc. The fuse mainly consists of three parts, a fuse seat, a fuse tube for installing the melt, and a melt. The melt is the core of a fuse. It is often made into filaments, sheets, or grids. The materials used to make the melt are usually lead tin alloy, zinc, copper, silver, etc., depending on the requirements of the protected circuit. The melt tube is a protective shell of the melt, made of heat-resistant insulation material, which also has an arc extinguishing effect when the melt melts. The fuse holder is the base of a fuse, used to fix the fuse tube and external leads. The electrical symbol of the fuse is shown in the figure, which can be memorized by combining the symbol of the resistor component. The straight line of the fuse passes through the short side of the small rectangle. The electrical code is FU. The above is the relevant knowledge of fuses. Next, we will learn the second component, a thermal relay. The thermal relay is an automatic protective device that uses the thermal effect generated by the current flowing through the relay to operate in inverse time. The so-called anti-time operation refers to the shortening of the delay operation time of an electrical appliance as the current passing through the circuit increases. Thermal relays are mainly used in conjunction with contactors for overload protection of electric motors. There are various forms of thermal relays, with bimetallic sheet type being the most commonly used. These are several common thermal relay profiles, all of which are bimetallic sheet type. Each series of thermal relays can generally only be used in conjunction with the corresponding series of contactors, such as JR20 series thermal relays used in conjunction with CJ20 series contactors, T series thermal relays used in conjunction with B series contactors, etc. As shown in the figure, the structure of the three pole bimetal thermal relay is mainly composed of several parts thermal element, moving mechanism, contact system, setting adjustment device, and manual reset device. The thermal element of a thermal relay consists of a bimetallic sheet and a resistance wire wound around the outside. The bimetallic sheet is composed of two metal sheets with different expansion coefficients. When using a thermal relay, it is necessary to connect the thermal components in series in the main circuit and the normally closed contacts in series in the control circuit. When the motor is overloaded, the current flowing through the resistance wire exceeds the set current of the thermal relay. The heat of the resistance wire increases, and the temperature increases. Due to the different degrees of thermal expansion of the two metal sheets, the main bimetallic sheet bends to the right. The transmission mechanism pushes the normally closed contact to disconnect, breaks the control circuit, and then cuts off the main circuit through the contactor to achieve overload protection for the motor. 
After the power supply is cut off, the main metal sheet gradually cools down and returns to its original position. The reset mechanism of thermal relays has two forms, manual and automatic. Generally, the automatic reset time is not more than 5 minutes, and the manual reset time is not more than 2 minutes. The figure shows the graphical symbols of thermal elements, normally closed contacts, and normally open contacts, which are used in the main circuit. Normally open and normally closed contacts, commonly used in control circuits. The electrical code is KH. The electrical schematic diagram is formed by connecting the symbols of buttons, fuses, thermal relays, and contactors according to the control requirements. Let's take a look at the control process. One-way operation control circuit for overload protection. As shown in the figure. The circuit consists of two parts, the main circuit and the control circuit. Now let's analyze how the circuit works. Turn on the power switch QS. Power entry. Press SB2. The KM coil in the control circuit is energized. The KM dynamic auxiliary contact in the control circuit is closed. After releasing SB2, the KM coil is still energized. Loop provided. This method of automatically maintaining the state after the contactor is powered on is called self-locking. At the same time, the KM dynamic closing main contact in the main circuit is closed. Electric motor running. Stop the motor. Just press SB1. FR is a thermal relay in the circuit. It can protect the motor from overload. The thermal elements of the thermal relay are connected in series in the main circuit. The braking contacts are connected in series in the control circuit. When overload failure occurs, current in the electronic winding of a motor. will greatly increase. Exceed the rating. The heat produced by too much current. It will bend the bimetal sheet of the thermal relay, thereby pushing its braking contact to disconnect. Cut off control circuit. Avoid motor burning due to long-term overload. The following are the relevant exercises, students to practice them. That's the end of this class, see you next time.